everyone, and welcome back to Dead by Elden Ring, because this build is going to be Sir Gideon, the all-knowing, as a build on Ghostface. So first, I'm going to go over the add-on. So I have an add-on that anytime I put a survivor into the dying state, and as you can see, they don't have to be marked for this to happen. Anytime they're in the dying state, you get your power back immediately. Then I have this one, where the auras of all survivors are revealed for seven seconds when a marked survivor is put into the dying state. So it's, these two add-ons are like out of all the ultra rares like this these are really good together like really good so i mean you can see what the strategy is if you want to play this really seriously out in the out in the ghost face world of dead by daylight so you down someone with a marked attack uh you go around the wall or around the corner use your power and go after the next person like uh, theoretically you can down all four survivors in the beginning of the map if they're like you know not average loopers or below average and then we have joel and uh the reason why i have joel on here it's because every time I hit a survivor, or what it does is that every time I hit my survivor with the basic attack, every gens just explode within 32 meters of me. Uh, because the thing about aura reading is that aura reading, if you stack a lot of it, it eventually becomes redundant where you have so much information, other info perks just aren't needed. But let's go on to these info perks. Leave the pursuer, see everyone's aura in the beginning of the match. I have thwack. Every time I hook a survivor, it becomes active. I break a, uh, a breakable wall or a pallet. Uh every survival will scream and i will see their aura revealed for four seconds within 32 meters this is if you really want to you can switch one of these out for like this one that when you break a wall or a pallet you get your power back immediately it's a pretty interesting synergy with whack then we got hex face the go uh we have hex ghost face the darkness this is a really good perk on ghost face or pretty much any stealth killer when i hit a survivor uh a random gold totem becomes lit up and every survival will start screaming intermittently every 25 seconds revealing their position and aura the good thing about this build the biggest problem is distortion distortion is a survivor perk where it hides the killers uh it hides your aura from the killer but the thing that's really good about this build and i think these two perks in general they are a hybrid type of perk based on locating survivors through screaming and through aura reading right now there's no meta defining perk you're going to see that reduces survivors from screaming i don't want to hear calm spirit because calm spirit has been nerfed for some reason where it's completely dog water there's absolutely no reason to run it and yeah and this build is really fun and i hope you can see in the match oh man dude the foreskin boneyard great hopefully i can find the doctor when i was born to give me some answers that's a really good survivor spawn for me by the way all four of them clunk together beautiful and they're humping each other great okay do i even have a i do have an angle right here oh my god she's literally 99.9 .9 repeating stock yeah dude work on this generator i think this generator would be a really good idea to work on oh okay hello hello and you're done Ooh, i can kill the entire i can kill like the entire team right here i think oh god my forehead don't worry oh man if i actually got that hit i would have won i think where is this guy oh there you are free drop are you gonna pre dude he's preying he's preying oh boy nice dude i knew i should have committed that why did i not commit that if i see is if i see vasquez coming for the save i'm gonna bonk him in the forehead all right i got like 20 seconds to catch this man He's running it nice and wide. Don't tell me there's a pallet here. There's not. Oh, great. What was that play? What was that play? Dude, I want I want to slug him to get Vitorio. Man, if I got this guy immediately, the game would have been over. I could have slugged, hit Vitorio, and chased the last person. That's the thing about this build. Like, if you want to do, if you want to play really mean, you can run, like, knockout or something. And just slug the entire team and win. Then again, I guess it does depend. If you're going against survivors that are above average loopers, I might, you know, not be so easy. I know this guy's here. He's gone. Where is he? Uh-oh. Audio cut. What the hell? You're not Vasquez. Nice. Vault window. Oh, wait. Windows on. I'm an idiot. Windows on this side. Oh. Oh, I kind of had a feeling you would do that, actually. Break breakdown on the on the uh Carlos. Oh shit. Oh I was close. That was that's not off the record. That was just a, a really long borrowed time. Okay, I did not do that right. Nice. 
ice. I don't think you make it back to the pallet. You might actually. Nice. Uh, he's got breakdown. Hey, what's up? And because of that, he could have decisive as well. Not risking it. Oh my god, there's why is my audio cutting every single time? Oh wait, actually, I will I'll make you the uh, marked victim. He's got life. I just need one hit on you, and I'm golden. This case, yeah, I saw her shadow disappeared. Yeah, I keep running on that tile, my mind game. I keep running until I see their shadow disappear. That's how you do it. They're gonna pick up the other guy. We're gonna thwack this. You ready? Uh, we're gonna know exactly where to go, who to go to. It's gonna be this guy. That was so close, man. Right behind me. Hey. Did not expect that, didn't you? <laughs> oh, this guy's coming for the flashlight save. Hey, and I'm gonna hook you next because you're being a thorn in my side, Carlos. Hook is still gone. You serious? All right, I guess I'll put him on this hook over here. And I'll pick up Vasquez, put him over there. Oh, yeah, it's gone for three minutes. That's right. Forgot about that. And I got my power immediately. Let's go, dude. Boom. Yeah, th okay. One of the best ways to play this game as an M1 killer is to always, unless you're running like a Scorch Hook and you down someone right on top of a Scorch Hook, you want to down the first person, slug and go after the second person. That's how you want to play M1 killers, like competitively, in my opinion. And as you can see, if I did it with this build, I would feel unstoppable. Okay. You're giving me... You know you're giving me amazing info. Yeah, you see that? Now I see his aura. He's screaming on top of the... They're all screaming on top of the hook. We see her that she's going to keep going. She's waiting around the corner. She's running outwards. Okay. That's good to know. No, we'll just keep her back here. We'll just keep her back there. Just keep her back there. Pretend that we're going after activator power leave. There we go. So I got two hooks disabled right now. That one should respawn in a bit, though. It still has not respawned. Wait, that was Jake, right? Yeah, it is. Hold on. We got to prank this guy. Oh, I think he saw me. Yeah, he did. I think he's running away. Where is he? Yeah, I think he ran away. There he is. <laughs> and this is so much fun, though. Just seeing all of this happen. What was that? You have dead hard. That's what you were doing. Oh, do you want to give me a, a thwack pallet? Did I just hear him heal? I don't think you make it. Oh, that was just a tip right there. Nice. Was he marked? He was marked, wasn't he? Oh, hi, marked. Oh, okay. Okay, that's all I need. I just need some stock. We got him nearly 50%. That's really good. Can we actually use this hook now? Okay, thank you, Carlos. After three minutes. All right, the gens are going by pretty slow. That's not a surprise, though. I had insane pressure. Uh, Okay. Healing the Meg. What the hell was that body block? We're Ghostface, though. If he tries to body block us again, we could just stalk right through him. Nice. That's a down. So, we don't have anyone marked. I think we want... Wait. Carlos is dead on hook, so we want to mark him, right? Just so we can, you know, not kill someone immediately. Put you on this back hill. Nice. Okay, we got to go inside the building, then cloak. Just like that. How would you almost reveal me? <laughs> you think they see me? I think they might. I see someone's right here. I see your shadow. Oh man, I have you fully stark. You can't be the victim then. I have you fully starked. I had a, I have him Tony Stark. Right, let's see. Man, I need someone to be the victim. I want it to be Carlos. We need people to be creaming. We need creamers. Oh, man. Wait, where do these guys go? Okay, you're right there. She has decisive. She has decisive. She's not touching it. Nice. That's really good. Where's Carlos? Where is he? He's right there. 
<laughs> he's probably like, how, how is this happening? He didn't even tap the generator either. Dude, that's so good. Uh, Meg's got off the record. You notice how we cannot see her aura. She's definitely got off the record. Okay, you're dead, by the way. So Meg's got off the record, possibly DS, because she's. I think she's trying to make me pick her up because you see that she keeps crouching on the generator, but she's not actually tapping it. It's probably because she has off the... It's probably because she has decisive, and she wants me to fall for it. She wants me to make her think that she doesn't have DS as active anymore. Or DS isn't active anymore. God, my grammar, man. Oh. Enzo. Fonte. Nice. So here's the thing. We could fully stalk you. And we could see where Mega's at. But, oh yeah, she's off the record. That's not going to work. Okay, where are you? Yeah, see? Off the record. That's off the record. You can't even see her aura, but you saw her scream right there. Play that really good. You have a pallet right here. What the? Bruh. What the hell was that? <laughs> yeah, good thing we got rid of this pallet. So the pallet's on the left side. So you can't make it anywhere. It's got dead hard. Yeah, I don't think he expected me to use it. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, did you guys see that? How did he get rescued? You saw her scream over there. What? What? We did a pretty good job so far. Wait, how? You guys saw that, right? It showed her scream there, but he got unhooked. That makes dick of sense. That's a that's gotta be a bug. That's gotta be a bug. That's gotta be a bug. Why is she screaming over there? This guy just went into a locker, by the way. Yeah, that's a hundred percent a bug. What the hell? Yeah, see, and she screamed over there. What? She's on like she's on like the pallet. Or on the generator. Oh, major swing. Uh, Minecraft villager sound effects. Where is this Meg? I want to go up to the Meg. Yeah, you're baiting. Wow. That makes no sense. She was screaming over there. Over there. And now back over there. How does that make sense? How does that make sense? That doesn't make any sense. Man, dude, I don't like this map. I don't like the I don't like the foreskin boneyard. I don't like the foreskin boneyard. <clears throat> Merciless. So it's fun. Like, I think it might actually be pretty good. You probably need to switch out one of these perks for like maybe another gen regression perk if you want to play this seriously. Like, you could run corrupted invention. So like all the all the gen all three gens are blocked. So you hit someone, and now you have extra time to maybe down someone because you want to hit someone to get this active immediately, right? Got a brand new part we got break two people had breakdown okay okay that makes sense so, yeah i was wondering like one of the things were gone again yeah see she did have off the record she did not have ds though why was she never tapping the generator then oh wait did i oh that's why i wait i turned her injured right oh i thought i put her deep wounded so no she had off the record so she was trying to bait an off the record hit that's what she was doing okay sorry my brain just died right there windows opportunity fog wise is that why this guy kept trying to go in generators? He had flashbang. Yeah, that was kind of funny. <laughs> Ooh. Well, I mean, I'm a brighter color, so maybe I can, uh, you know, blend in this sprite as well map. Uh, Which one do I... I'm going to save this regular wall for thwack value. Yeah, I guess I'll go over here. So no distortion. That's actually really nice. Good thing the game, good thing the game is not putting me in my normal uh, MMR where I'm going against distortion teams left and right. Ooh. Hello. Oh, uh, yeah. I bet you regret doing that, don't you? You're going to go for the window. Don't think you make that. Ooh. Oh, my God. Can you not go inside my anus, please? Okay. All right. So, we have him, like, 45% stocked. What are you doing, man? He's just killing behind the pallet. Hello? Oh, I'll make you the victim. Oh, yeah. I'll make him the victim, actually. There we go. Because he does not have a med kit. I think some people in this match have a med kit. And I don't want to make them the victim. Oh, we need our power to come back as quickly as we can, game. Thank you. Ooh. Oh, my God. Why is it not leaning? Why is it not leaning? It's supposed to lean, but it's not leaning. Oh, uh, I'd rather get you off of this, girl. Oh, okay. Oh, this is a really safe pallet. What the hell? Throw it down. 
Oh, by unrelenting. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, here's the thing. Do I want to keep her here? I kind of just want to keep her here. Oh, uh, vault back there. Oh, man. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. I just want to keep you here. Oh, dang it. Oh, my God. You serious? How is she revealing me? Oh, my God. Okay, I'm just going to... I'm going to stop. I'm just going to go for him. Okay, we have whack, though. We can do this. That's really good, actually. Hey, you do have a Z-Wall pallet here. Oh, no, just a Z-Wall. It's got Sprint versus dude. Hi, I'm Carl. What's your name? Okay, no one went back on there. I Instead of you making the victim, I think I'd rather have you be a Joel. Oh, maybe not, actually. Oh, my God. It, it, like, I am revealing them, but they're revealing me just as much. I just can't see them. She played that so well. Oh, dang it. Oh, she's going to try to hold W. Uh, I think everything near you is weak besides Killer Shack. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, God. I, I don't know why. I swung because I thought she was going to run it long. Uh-oh. I'm getting destroyed right here. I mean, I'm eating all of the pallets for Thwack later, so that's good. Wait, oh, that's really bad. I'm done to two generators, I think, because... Yep. Oh, boy. All right. Is she going to keep going? Hopefully, she tries to play this. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, this is not worth it. This is not worth it. Even if I get a down, this is not worth it. This is just not worth it. I'm going to have to leave her. Dude, that sucks, man. That sucks. There's so many pallets everywhere. What the hell? I'm sorry, but you are so easy to just down. See? Like, what's the point of chasing someone who's that good? Oh, that's that's really bad. Oh, man. that Me going after Dwight was actually the right play because of that. Ooh. Because it would have made the totem go somewhere else. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. I was playing Ghostface in my spare time earlier. Like, not just running. I was just running, like, a, uh, like a, like a kind of a serious build. Like, oh, dude, these survivors just do not play around. They They really do not. Like, I have to be aware of the gen speeds. Like, it kind of sucks because I want to focus on the build, you know, because it's fun. But it's like, I I have to, like, sweat, I feel. Because without that, I'm just, I, I'm just weak. I feel weak. No, 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 no. Oh, come on, man. How? I'm not killing her out of the game. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Oh, that sucks, dude. Okay, you're the hardest one to catch. I'm just gonna make you the victim. I I'm I'm just gonna do it. You're you're so hard to catch. Okay, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna go in the middle of the map and hit one of the pallets for thwack. Oh uh, no, we're not. Someone's going for the save. Bruh. I thought I broke the. Everyone's here. Hold on. Oh, I didn't have my power. Shite. Yeah, they're all trying to greed for the save. It's so hard. It's way too hard to hide everywhere. Because I'm just a huge, jolly, bright blueberry. I'm just going to keep farming for the jolt. And, all right, here we go. Oh, my God, dude. You see the type of mind games I have to do to catch up to this team and their shenanigans. Holy Lord. I, ha I have to I have to play like I have a gun to my head. That's what I feel right now. <clears throat> I hear someone behind me, I think. Other person's right here. Okay. All right. You know what? You know what? I'm still going to play fair. I'm not going to tunnel or camp or anything. All right, there you go. I'm just going to keep smacking that thing down constantly just so I can get, you know, just so I can get constant jolt. She's pretty much a jolt beacon to me. I know you're behind there. 
Uh, apparently, I see someone. I don't see anyone. Do you guys see them? I don't see them. Oh, there he is. He's got a sprint burst. Uh, he let it out. I was just going for the save, yeah. No one's a victim anymore. Why is that? Oh, oh, the totem got destroyed. That's why. Uh, this is a really safe pallet. I'm just gonna brute force it. Maybe get some flak. Oh, uh, you got you got dead hard, right? Right. I have no idea. That felt like you had dead hard or something. Good thing I know the timing. Where it's the frame. So that was still a dead hard risk though. Hundred percent. This guy's still incidentable. Nice. Oh my god. Jesus. Their person died. There we go. Make them scared or something. Okay. <clears throat> Put this guy in a hook. Break that pallet. Uh, we can get some thwack out of it. Oh yeah. Rebecca did not throw down her pallet. Okay. Boom. The other person just gave up. Oh my god, dude. Why do they... I don't understand. Like, do, do they not know the amount of stress they just put right through me? No thwack value, by the way. Man, the fact you just give up like that. That's so blue bully. Not gonna lie. Hmm. She's camping the pallet. Rip. Alright, you got a... What loop was this again? I don't remember. It's not even running it. Uh, okay. Oh, apparently I've never hooked this person. <clears throat> I think, I don't think this person has dead art. I think she's been buffing it the entire time. Okay, she does know I'm over here. Uh, life? I don't remember. Oh my god, she wasn't even paying attention. Oh, okay, yeah, she definitely was not paying attention. Oh boy. All right, the main building. That was a weird play. That's really good fake. You have dead hard, right? She does. She's had dead hard this entire time, but she's never been using it. So she was actually not bluffing it. Oh wait, that means I read every single dead hard she had. That's actually really good. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I read every single dead art she had. Crazy. Like, I want to say this isn't making excuses, but it kind of is. But it's like the loops feel so unplayable. Or like, not unplayable, but it's like unmind gameable. Like a lot of loops like this, you can just see over. So it's like, what's some mind gaming for killer, you know? See, this stuff, you can mind gameable. That's why I've won every single one of them, because you can mind game it. That loop, you can mind game it, and I was able to win it. But like you see, I struggle with loops that the survivors could just see the killer a hundred percent of the time on. Oh man. But this team is good though, because that's the thing. They only ran to those loops. That's what you want to do as a survivor. You want to run to loops that give you the most advantage as possible. Is that a why did she have saboing add-ons in this? Yeah, I was about to say, like, I'm pretty sure this decreases the sabo speed. Man, I can't believe she had dead hard the entire time. I can't believe I read that so much. Like when she was gonna dead hard and when she wasn't. Wow.